Okay, love don't judge with sugar tits. Hi, sugar tits. Hey, everyone. I'm in love with a ghost. My girlfriend accepts it. Let's go. But first, let's talk about Supremacy 1914. With over 10 million downloads, Supremacy 1914 lets you choose your favourite World War I nation and assume its highest office to manage troops, materials and weaponry to fight your way to victory in Europe. Get a head start over your opposition and help out the channel by using the link below to get a free starter pack with 13,000 gold and a one-month premium account. Good luck on the battlefield. This is Rebecca. She fell in love with... Catherine. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca with a K. That's an interesting spelling, isn't it? Just going out on a limb here. Was it the uh, second woman who initially brought the ghost into the relationship? No, I think it was the first one. I think. I've only watched a little bit of this. I thought it would have been the goth for sure, not the hippie. Let's see. Hello. Who's in this space right now? But before meeting, Rebecca was already in a relationship with Rupert, a ghost. Yeah, see, it was Rebecca with a K. That's so weird. The one who looks like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Are you here by Rebecca? How do you balance your friendship with Rupert without getting jealous? Um, quite easily. He doesn't exist. The ghost's name is Rupert. Yeah, yeah, because he's old. He's from the olden days. The olden times. Yeah. <laughs> Rupert. <sighs> And their otherworldly connection has been judged by those still alive on TikTok. Can you chill the f out? Some of the comments we get are, you're crazy. So she had a thing about ghosts. She's like, I'm all into ghosts. And then all of a sudden she's like, oh, well, I'm going to I'm gonna get with Rupert. Because like <laughs> Rupert must have come onto her. Like she's doing that radio talking thing with a ghost. And it ended up being Rupert. And he's like, hey, baby, you want my ectoplasm? So she's basically just manifested this in her head. And she's visiting some random dude's grave. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Let's watch. I must be, or you must have, schizophrenia. Today they are asking Rupert how he really feels about sharing his partner. How do you feel about Catherine? Personally like, speaking, I've never heard a ghost say, ooh, but I have heard a ghost say, help me get off my grave and things like that. I'm Rebecca. This is my partner, Catherine, and... Oh, they're into tarot cards. Of course they're into fucking tarot yeah, cards. Fucking tarot. I... I bet they got dream catchers and shit yeah. too. Astrology. Yeah, they read each other's tea leaves and stuff like that. Rebecca's a Gemini and I'm a Pisces. We mesh really well. And Rupert's a Sagittarius. <laughs> so he kind of fits in. <laughs> <gasps> Rupert's like, fucking kill me. I have been judged before because I am also in a relationship with a ghost. His name is Rupert. <laughs> of course he looks like that. He looks like that guy out of that vampire show you used to watch. Who the fuck has come up? Is this an AI generated image of what they perceive Rupert to look like? And of course he could be a fucking model. As if anyone back then looked like that. Yeah, I don't think they had hair peroxide. I mean, they did, wait, did they? I don't think so. Well, I mean, I'm sure they had peroxide, but they probably didn't put it in their hair. I don't know when he's from. Let's see if we can get a bit of a backstory. This is so stupid. I met him in front of a local historic home. He was a Revolutionary War soldier. He is originally from Wales. And when I met him, he was wearing a red coat. She's a turncoat. <laughs> She's a traitor. She's fucking a Welshman. He's a red coat. He was, yeah, he was. He was the enemy. Wow. It's not very patriotic of you, love. He was standing right here. I was walking past. It was following a ghost tour that I had just led and he called out to me. Just imagine you're a ghost, right? And you're hanging around. It's like, oh, I can't get to fucking heaven or hell or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you're just, you're stuck on earth. What are you going to do? You, you've got some time to kill. Oh, I might follow around a ghost tour. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, surely there's better things to fill your time. He asked me if I was walking home alone. He asked if he could escort me, which kind of gave me Stranger Danger vibes because that had never happened to me before, especially from a ghost. Wait, so a ghost manifests and says, can I walk you home? And she got Stranger Danger vibes, not like, oh, fuck, it's a ghost vibes. Stranger Danger, like rapey vibes. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like... His ghostly male gaze was making me uneasy. Surely if a ghost manifested in front of you, the first thing on your mind wouldn't be, oh my God, I'm going to get raped. 
you'd be like, fuck, it's a ghost. But he seemed okay. He seemed really nice. And so I was like, all right, I'll, I'll give you five blocks. Just imagine her walking home by herself, having a conversation, like a really spirited conversation, pardon the pun, <laughs> with no one. Go, yeah, oh, right, you're from where? Oh, you, you're a red coat. Oh, so how's, how did the war go? Yeah. <laughs> imagine that. And for some reason, people say I've got schizophrenia. We both had to learn each other's languages. He had to learn how I was psychically perceiving him with respect. He started hanging out more where I was living. He was always very clear on boundaries, on wanting consent. Consent to what? I don't know what to say. <laughs> consent to what? It's not like you're going to feel any of it. There could be a ghost fingering you right now. <laughs> could be a ghost fingering me right now. Ew. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> Gay. He never wanted to press being inside or anything like that. He started to refer to me as someone he knew when he was alive. I did a past life regression and I did know him. I knew him back in 1781 when he was stationed here as a part of the 82nd Regiment. So you were a turncoat back then too, fraternising with the enemy. Yeah. Because they didn't bring chicks over, did they? Like, surely the redcoats didn't bring their wives and girlfriends and shit. No. So she was fucking one of the enemy. Probably. She's probably a prosty. Yeah, you're a traitor. You a are. traitor hooker. It's all just so convenient, isn't it? I just met this random ghost and guess what? We knew each other in a past life. <laughs> <laughs> just so convenient. You're making all of this up in your head. It's convenient because your psychotic brain is making it convenient. Yeah, if you believe in like that reincarnation sort of shit, then like, why weren't you one of the billions of chicks born in like India or China? Mm. Why were you born like in the same town? Mm hmm. 300 years later. Mm -hmm. Why weren't you born as a fucking centipede? Yeah. <laughs> because it's all made up bullshit. It's like, what's that thing Ricky Gervais said about, uh, like, a go it's a party where you go as what you were oh, in a everyone, previous life? And everyone was Napoleon. Yeah. Or everyone was, like, Alexander the Great. Yeah, or yeah. someone famous, you know? like <laughs> No one's, like, a surf, no one, a, lo yeah. a lowly surf in, in Britain. Yeah, no you one know. was, like, a street cleaner, like a chimney yeah. sweeper. <laughs> <laughs> something. He and I used to be married when he was alive. I've had this cross-validated from other hypnotists and psychic mediums. Well, the feelings weren't expected. They just sort of happened. What is your intimate and sexual relationship like with Rupert? Mm -mm. <laughs> exactly, mm -mm. no. Rupert and I are primarily sharing emotions because of the very clear physical differences between us. Oh, isn't that crazy? He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's thin air. We can't fuck. <laughs> it's all emotional. Yeah, it turns out you can't have sex with schizophrenia. <laughs> <laughs> he is acknowledging that I'm here in the physical. I need to live a life here in my present. So that's where well, the open-mindedness to you. I was going to ask, what about the fat lesbian girlfriend? If you got such a good relationship with Rupert. Rupert's from the 1700s. He's probably a Christian. Yeah, he's a proper Welshman. Probably very, like, religious. How does he feel about your lesbian goth relationship? Yeah, you're into all voodoo arts and shit and, like, talking to the dead. We met on TikTok. I found Rebecca and I thought, wow, this is great. We met in person a year after mm -hmm. we had started talking. Yeah. I took you on a tour. It was like 11 p.m. at night and we're walking around downtown and I was like, this is where this happened and this is where this happened. You met Rupert that night. I met Molly. You met Molly, Jimothy, mm -hmm. George. Wait, are they all ghosts? Mm, Jimothy. Jimothy. The ghost. They've all got pictures. They've all got AI pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? So do you think they just go onto like like an AI image generator and go, draw me a picture of a ghost named Jimothy? A hundred percent. And then they just like manifest Jimothy. And they all look like potential models. None of them have got no teeth missing like they probably did yeah, back then. Yeah, it's the 1700s. Teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Why doesn't he have a big fucking bullet wound in his forehead? <laughs> exactly. We became best friends, and then we stopped ignoring how we felt for each other. Rupert and I are friends. <laughs> we've hung out, we've had conversations, we've gone on trips together. How do you balance your friendship with Rupert without getting jealous? Whew. 
There is no jealousy. I have such respect for the work that was done. Wait, so when she's having time with Rupert, is she just like in her bedroom fingering herself or something? Like what's <laughs> in reality, what's happening here? If anything, I feel like excitement and pride for the both of them. You went to him and you checked with him on things. I you, did. You told him your feelings for me before you told me. I did. <laughs> I absolutely did. I was like, please don't hate me. But... <laughs> do you reckon this conversation actually happened? Like, do you think that she was in a room and she said the words, like, hey, Rupert, um, do you mind if I start fucking your girlfriend? <laughs> do you reckon that happened? Or is this, is it like a telepathic, is it like, did he come to her in a dream or something? I, I'm so, I don't know. I'm, I'm I hope so it confused. actually happened. I'd love to see video of that. What I can gather here, the one in the green is meant to be psychic. And this is like a hanger on or a TikTok fan. But she said that she had a conversation with Rupert. So she's psychic too, obviously. And didn't they say before that they don't actually talk to Rupert? It's all like vibes. Well, then how do you have a conversation? Like, how do you vibe, hey, can I fuck your missus? <laughs> I don't know. That's some pretty weird they, vibes um, to put out there. They speak in vibrations. Ready? Ready. All right. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Surprise life. Surprise. I'm going to do a three, two, one. Where do you pick up on him? Three, two, one. <laughs> uh -huh. I, yeah, OK. Also felt him behind you. I need to find this channel. <laughs> I need to find this live stream. I want to become a part of the audience. <laughs> I'm going to start an account Just... called Rupert and join their <laughs> chat. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I started posting skits online on my experiences with talking to ghosts and they blew up. It's been really cool. Some of the comments we get are, you're crazy. They're letting everybody out of the asylums nowadays. That's a really good story that you just made up. A lot of people are like, ah, oh, clearly she's lying, but I really enjoy the stories. Find Jesus. Accept him into your heart. All in caps. You're talking to demons. All ghosts are demons. The things that would make me go, no, would be people trying to pretend to be an internet expert about mental health. You don't need to be an internet expert about <laughs> mental health. You're in a relationship with a fucking ghost. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think this is like one area where armchair psychology is kind of like on point. Yeah, you're <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're vibing with a ghost. You. Discerning that obviously I must be or you must have schizophrenia. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you've got schizophrenia. Well, something's not right in your head. I don't think they both do. I think I think the one in the green dress maybe has schizophrenia, and the goth is just really entertaining it because oh, she yeah. wants it to be true because yeah. she's a goth and you know she's all like into fucking. She was a fan of hers. They met on TikTok. Oh really? Oh okay. So she's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, the ghost, yeah, Rupert, yeah. yeah. Because there's no way that this could be a thing that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, somebody America. has something to say about that. Oh my God, Rupert. Rupert just turned the lights off. Wow. <laughs> you bitches shut the fuck up. Do, 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 do. Rupert's had enough of the TikTok. He's had enough of listening to you two bitches. You're going to turn Rupert into a poltergeist. What if Rupert is like somehow tied to them against his will? Like what That's if, what I said. What if Rupert exists? Like he's actually real. Hmm. And he's just like, he can't escape. Like, to get to heaven, mm -hmm. he's got to, like, satisfy these bitches or something. Yeah, that's, that's what I get. Yeah, let's entertain this whole <laughs> I was married to Rupert in a previous life mm -hmm. thing. Let's say that is the, the tie okay. that's binding him, okay, to this yep. plane of his existence is yep. that she used to be his wife. So uh -huh. he's tied to her. He's got no fucking say in this goth TikTok crazy fan bitch joining the party. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, listen, this bitch said that she had a conversation with me. I had no such conversation with her. She can't <laughs> yeah. talk to ghosts. She's just a crazy fan. I'm saying fucking no, bitch. Fuck off. Get away from my wife. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, Rupert said it's cool if we're like in a three-way relationship. And the one in green's just schizophrenic anyway. Yeah. And so she's just like, oh, okay, well, that must be what was said. I, I I don't know this is let's be real rupert doesn't want is it rachel i don't know imagine if you're married to rebecca like in real life and rebecca goes hey um let's bring this rachel into our relationship <laughs> put it the freeze what frame do you <laughs> seriously if it was between me being scared shitless in the middle of the night because i saw rupert or seeing that face <laughs> pop up out of nowhere yeah that's that's fucking horrifying You'd pick rupert wouldn't you i would pick rupert any day can you chill the f out. You don't have to like me. You don't have to watch me. Right. You can block me. 
makes no difference to me. Imagine Rupert sitting there and you've got these fucking crazy millennial bitches, these crazy millennial goths and a schizophrenic, and they're sticking their tongue out making TikToks and shit going, shut the fuck up, Rupert. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Rupert's going to go poltergeist. I know. He's going he's gonna to lose his shit. He's going to go demonic on this bitch. I wouldn't blame him. Poor fucking Rupert. He's trapped. The overwhelming response is positive. People are very supportive. Yeah, because they think you have a mental illness. Yeah, people tend to be very uh, empathetic with uh, crazy people. You just, like, you don't want to rock the boat of crazy even more. They're very likely to capsize. But that's the thing. This goth does want to rock the boat. She's like, mm. yeah, no, definitely. I can hear Rupert too. Mm. Like, imagine that. You've got some schizo who thinks she's in a relationship with a ghost. And you're like, yeah, totally. I can hear him too. I had a conversation with him and he reckons we should scissor. <laughs> <laughs> the goth is dealing in delusion, all right? She's a she's a fan of hers. She wants this to be true. Oh, she's got the Buffy box set. <laughs> Look at her. What's worth it to me? The amount of people who come forward and they say, you made me feel sane, thank you. It was really like a community built on people that says, oh, I thought I was losing it. Thank you for talking about this. Or thank you for helping me not be afraid to die. We will be going to a local cemetery, which both of us enjoy visiting and talking to some of the local spirits there. So they're going to the cemetery now to conjure up random ghosts. Like it says rest in peace for a reason. I mean, imagine that. Imagine let's just say the ghost realm is real and you're lying there just like chillaxing. You've lived a hard life. You're having a fucking rest. And these bitches come up to you with their fucking psychic radio and go, Ooh, come and talk to us and hang out with us. We'll do a TikTok. Meet <laughs> Rupert. The TikTok. You go, fuck off. I'm surprised they haven't been poltergeisted already. I mean, if like ghosts were real. It's something we do for fun as well as do for content. Asleep in the arms of Jesus. I guess Jesus has a lot of arms. This is a good spot. So should we uh, take a check and see what's going on in my magic bag of tricks? Oh, did you, you brought things? I did. Okay. Hello. Hi. Who's in this space right now? No, like a physical lake. Oh, like you cool. want to move? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a, a direction that we should go? What is this magic box? Is that just a CB radio? It's like some kind of radio. Some and they're just fucking like, trucky who's just passing the they're just funerals. Like not, like... They're not quite dialing in the, the radio stations. Yeah. So it's between two stations and yeah. they're getting like random words and shit. And they're like, oh my God, every like random word we hear is a ghost. And like they're misinterpreting <laughs> shit. Like, oh my God, it definitely said follow us. It's kind of like a movie. I've had a number of people try to contact me and say, Rupert's talking to me. And I'm like, no, he's not. And I'm concerned about who you're talking to. He has a light accent, though it's not specifically the accent that we would associate with the English now, just because it's been <laughs> almost 300 years. This is an S-Box. It is one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I have. As it scans through radio signals, it's giving a white noise that they can either pull sound from to respond with using the radio signals coming through. So it scans through radio stations. Mm -hmm. It just scans through the fucking band or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. So of course you're going to hear random voices. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if you're just dialing from like one band to another quickly all the way through the, the whole band. You're going to hear random words every now are. and then. Or... This, it'll come through the static. What do I have to do to get you to say something? <laughs> Did you just hear a <laughs> Hi, Rupert. Where are you sitting right now? On this chair. <laughs> he didn't say on this chair. It said, let's do it. And it's not a chair anyway, it's a couch, Rupert. Someone's fucking with him. Someone is onto this already and someone has got a radio, a radio like a and he's just radio. hanging around with him. Yeah, for sure. That'd for sure. be funny. Because I did notice that it does kind of sound like the same male voice. I'll give them that. But someone is fucking with them. Yeah, but it's on like a it's like AM radio quality. So how can you fucking tell really? Like it's not even AM radio quality, it's like C B radio quality. It's like just all squawky and shit. <laughs> What is his personality like? How would you describe him? Thoughtful and contemplative. Yes. Thoughtful and contemplative. He said, I'm Jet. <laughs> How do you get thoughtful and contemplative from that? I'm Jet. I know, Stephen Hawking's got a better vocab range than this guy. I'm Jet. He doesn't speak without thinking about it. 
a lot. Yeah, that's because you're waiting to like find some fucking voice on a random band that you're flicking through. So if he doesn't say anything, it's like, well, let's keep flicking through radio stations until we hear like a snippet of voice. Then we'll translate that into whatever we want. How do you feel about your relationship with me? That didn't sound like the same no. male voice. No. And it was like, it didn't say, I love you. Is that what it, the worst? I think that's what it said. That's great. <laughs> I'm appreciative. I thought she vibes with him. Didn't she say she vibes with him? It's yeah. like the feeling. Now Now it's all about the voices on the radio. Yeah. Like, get your story straight, bitch. This is bullshit. Yeah, no shit. This is a scam. <laughs> Either they're the best trollers on the internet of all time and this is a scam. They're shit trollers. This is absolute or crap. Or someone is fucking with them and they don't know about it. I mean, maybe she's just got a TikTok and she's trying to get clicks. That's what I'm saying. It just could be a scam. And the goth one goes, hey, hey, you know what? It'd be cool if everyone thought that we talked to ghosts mm. and like you do it because no one will believe that, that Rupert's into me. <laughs> 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 How do you feel about Catherine? I heard fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the KC leader went on fine. fine. <laughs> How do you feel about how we get along? All of us. I'm fine. See, that wasn't I'm fine. Again, it was mm. a different voice and there was like three snippets of songs yeah. in between the words. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Rupert's illiterate. I mean, here we are debating whether this is real or not. <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. Of course it's not fucking real. It's just like, how schizophrenic are they? That's what I want to know. Do they believe this? Or is this all just like a put on? Mm. There was a moment where it was just like, fine. Ugh, fine. <laughs> I love Rebecca for her talent. I feel very privileged to be in this sphere with her. What talent? Rebecca needs a fucking radio. Rebecca needs this ham radio to talk to Rupert. She said before she just vibes with him and now she needs this radio and this fat goth bitch is saying, I love Rebecca for her talent. What, listening to your radio? I mean, seriously, can't Rebecca just tell you what Rupert's saying? She is like a star and I am just gazing up at this point. Out of my, out of my... <laughs> You don't. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah, that's just a fan. She's obviously got a decent sized TikTok. Yeah. And she's she just said it in plain words. Yeah. She's, she's a, a star, star and I'm just gazing up. Yeah. This is bullshit. I don't think they believe it. Well, maybe the green one believes it. Maybe the green dress one believes it. Mm. Yeah, and the goth is just like, whatever I have to say. She's a ghost groupie. Well, I mean, look at him anyway. The one in the green dress is like heaps hotter than the goth, obviously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the goth is like, well, how can I how can I get with this chick who's much hotter than me? I know. I'll pretend that like I hear the ghosts too. I'll just like confirm her delusions. <laughs> yeah, I'll just play along. She looks like Nancy from The Craft too, by the way. She does fat Nancy. A fatter version, yeah. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> You're okay. fine. Hold. Deep breath. <laughs> Deep breath. What I love about you the most is how you make me feel seen. I don't worry about the future with you. I mean, if it's a fun hobby, then okay, fine. Like, have your fantasy, have your fucking delusion, have your, you know, play your games. But, like, if she actually believes it, and this fat goth is like, yeah, you can definitely hear ghosts, then it's like a bit, you're kind of just, like, encouraging her schizophrenia mm. then. I'm so caught up in how happy I am in the present. We often say that the future is malleable, and because of that, the future is what we make it. And... I think what we're making here is unique and curious and beautiful to you. What we're making is unique and curious and beautiful. They're making it up. Mm -hmm. You're making fucking crazy. That's what you're making. Anyway, that was fucking retarded. If I was Rupert, I would go poltergeist. Yeah. Although Rupert doesn't exist, obviously. But in a world where Rupert exists, poltergeist. Yeah. Don't forget, download Supremacy 1914 using the link below. Help the channel and get a bunch of free stuff to start your mission. All right, cheers.